progressing through training camp? Right. I think we're taking our baby steps, you know. I think we emphasize a lot on perfection. So I think taking those little minor steps to get there is everything we need to do, and I think that's what we're doing. It's a process like of, you know, being a part of it, but taking a step into a bigger role, because there's a lot of guys obviously in that back seven that are doing that. Right. Um, I think it's just, like again, focusing on the little details, mastering not only your technique, but the fundamentals, um, what you can do in the play, like within the scheme, and the way you add extra to it. So I think it's figuring how to do this scheme with adding your extra. So. I know um, Coach Boo asked you guys to learn both positions. What's yes, that sir. been like for you, about, you know, learning both the will and, and the mic positions? Uh, it's a lot of fun because it's like um, kind of two completely different positions. With one, you almost get a lot of outside linebacker looks. So, like, it's a lot of fun, but it's also it's challenging at the same time coming in, playing two positions, not knowing, like, which one you're going to settle into. But it's, it's good at the end of the day because you know who's supposed to be where and how that all plays out. I remember your first spring, like way back when mm -hmm. Coach Bielma just got here, he said you were a firecracker. Yeah. Like really, really on. Now, what do you feel like you showed them then that has kind of allowed for this natural progression to where you are now? Um, I, I remember the first play, I uh, did something I shouldn't have and hit someone the wrong way <laughs> in, uh, in a third period. So I think that's what he was referring to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I kind of just always am more of a physical guy. I want to get my head in on the play and I'm going to like come up with some stuff behind me. So I think. I think they like what they see, hopefully. Would that be a more endearing term to be called a firecracker now than it was then? <laughs> yeah, I think it's more, uh, I'm, I think it's more positive now. <laughs> uh, Dirk Dar Angel had a, a role last year. He ended up leading the team in tackles, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do, do you see yourself stepping into the kind of similar role that, that uh, he had last year? Yeah, Dargo, Dargo's a great player. I think he always did a great job of doing his job and not really looking for anything else. So. I, I respected what he did, and he did his job to a great. And so, yeah, if I can step into what he was able to do, of course, that would be great. You mentioned you know, learning those two linebacker spots and how they're different. I mean, what do you like maybe about each one of those? Uh, Mike, I like playing in the middle because I just like, I'm, you know, captain of the defense. Everything goes through me. Um, I'm calling everything out. You know what I mean? I like being in that kind of like leadership role, so that's fun. But. Um, Will, you know, you get your fair share of plays. Dropping is a lot more fun at Will because you're more in on like the receivers and stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, I think they both have their strong suits, and I think Coach Boo does a great job of training you at both and seeing where you flourish. I mean, how do you feel like you fit at both of those? And what do you do well in each? Yeah, I think uh, I think I bring uh, to the mic a more so. I would say I'm a savvy player, so I'm able to kind of see the formations, do all that, get the guys lined up. Kind of play off of that, and then I think um, as far as will, I think I'm able, I'm able to get in my drops well. I'm uh, I work side to side well. Um, off the edge, I'm not going to be afraid to come and smash a, a GT or any type of counter. So I think I bring physicality, uh, athleticism, and savviness to either position.